Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at an example of a definite integral involving trig functions. If you'd like to review how to integrate sines and cosines, you can watch my calculus how to integrate sine and cosine video by clicking here. And if you'd like to review the fundamental theorem of calculus, which we're going to need to solve this integral, you can watch my the fundamental theorem of calculus explained video by clicking here. Okay, so let's look at the integral at hand. This says we need to evaluate the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of sine of t plus cosine of t dt. So the first thing to realize with this integral is that since our functions inside are separated purely by an addition sign, that we can rewrite this as two separate integrals. So I'm going to rewrite this as the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of sine of t dt plus the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of cosine of t dt. Now we can evaluate each of these integrals separately and then use the fundamental theorem of calculus to get a numerical answer. Alright, so let's integrate this one first. So we know that the integral of sine is negative cosine. So we're going to get negative cosine of t evaluated from 0 to pi over 4 plus this integral. So we know the integral of cosine is sine, so this is going to leave us with plus sine of t evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Now we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus and get a numerical answer. So the fundamental theorem says to take our antiderivative and evaluate it at point b, which in this case is pi over 4, minus our antiderivative evaluated at point A, which in this case is zero. So for this example, we're going to get negative cosine of pi over four minus negative cosine of zero. And for our second integral, we're going to get plus sine of pi over four minus sine of zero. Now, from here, we can do two things. We can either plug all this directly into the calculator and see what we get, or we can recall our knowledge of the unit circle. So if you remember, cosine of pi over 4 and sine of pi over 4 are the same thing, and they both equal the square root of 2 over 2. So that means that we can simplify this to negative root 2 over 2, because cosine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, minus negative cosine of 0, which if you remember cosine of 0 is just 1, plus sine of pi over 4, which is just root 2 over 2 again, minus sine of 0, which if you recall is just 0. So now notice that we have a negative root 2 over 2 and a positive root 2 over 2 here, so those are going to cancel out with each other and just leave 0. And then we're left with minus negative 1, which is the same thing as plus positive 1, minus 0. So plus 1 minus 0 is just going to leave us with 1. And that is going to be the final answer for this example. And if you plug all this into the calculator and do it that way, you're going to get the same thing. So I hope this example boosted your confidence in working with trig functions in definite integrals. And thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends.